Did you ever notice that when we were younger, most of the movies that we were watching were using classical music to influence us without our knowledge? Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto from Tim Tena and you're welcome to another episode of Classical Experience. Stay tuned. Classical music has always been with us. Knowingly or unknowingly, we were introduced to classical music in various ways that we, we didn't even know that uh, this was classical music. So as we grew, before we realized that, okay, so this this is what we call classical music. This music was in, was introduced to us through movies, animated films, and many things, adverts and all that. But we thought they were just simple background music for the you know these uh, movies or commercials or whatever. But unknowingly, we were learning about classical music. So as we grew up. And we noticed that okay so these were actual songs in their own world they are very big in like the opera uh, symphonic music piano pieces and so many others so in today's episode we'll be looking at a few classical music that were introduced to us through movies or cartoons without our knowledge as when we we're growing as you know young people so from number 10 the ride of the valkyrie so this is a composition by Wagner from the opera The Ring Cycle or The Valkyrie. We hear this song usually when movies they are going to war or some dramatic part of the music is coming up and it sounds more like this. Number nine is the overture for the Barber of Seville. We usually hear this in most cartoons that we watch when there is a sneaky part of the cartoons. Number eight is Guillermo Tell or William Tell, the opera by Rossini, the overture for the opera. Number seven is a very popular music that we, we, we heard from Tom and Jerry when Tom became a pianist. <laughs> this is Liszt Hungarian Rhapsody number nine. It was made popular by the animation um, Tom and Jerry. Number six is also a very popular music out there and it's called Lacrimosa by Mozart in his Requiem and it's usually played when there is a death scene or a very sorrowful scene coming up in the movie. Number five, I'm sure everybody in the world, everybody, if you've not heard this one, then it means you are not, you are not on planet Earth. So this is the Hallelujah Chorus from Mandel's Messiah, and we usually hear it in most mu most movies that we watch. So when there is some uh, some jubilant part of the movie, we hear this.
Number four on the list is the Moonlight Sonata by Mozart. Hey. <gasps> Number four on the list is the Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. So on our number three is the very popular, popular, popular O Fortuna by Carl. gradually gets into the end to the top one if you want to find out the number one just hang around we'll find out soon so number two on the list is Beethoven's Ode to Joy and this is the chorus or the choral part of Beethoven's ninth symphony so the last movement of his symphony there is a choral part and we usually we've adapted this to um, the words Ode to Joy or Ode to Joy <laughs> So before we see our number one on the list, let's do the needful. Ah, remember, listen to classical music <laughs> and stay hydrated. Number one on our list was made very popular by also cartoons that we've been watching when we were younger. So it's in many cartoons by especially Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, so many cartoons so many so so many many and i'm sure you've heard this somewhere before can you guess that music okay so that music is the popular figaro area and i'm sure you've heard this you've messed around with this words up to now i still don't know the words of that area but i know that words due to the cartoons that i've been watching the blah, 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 blah. I never hear the words, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's for me, it's the most popular task music that I got used to first by watching movies and cartoons. So yes, that is my number one on the list and it sounds more like this. so guys, I hope you 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 are, you agree with me that these are some of the most popular classical music that are present in movies, cartoons, and other ones. Let me know what I missed or a few uh, some of them that I are not present in my list but are very popular. Let me know. Just let them let them flow in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Tintena. Very important. Like click on it right now. Click. click. Use your cartoons powers to click. I'm watching. Click. Click. And also you can follow me on Facebook, Tim Tenner. And uh, so sad, but I have to go. I'll be seeing you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.